tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. This is going to be very brief. I'm showing you a little bit about history of Maya and this is not a tutorial really. You see here in the Wikipedia article about Autodesk Maya that it was initially released in February 1998. Exactly in February 1998 I started working with Maya. I had a copy of Maya and I paid for it actually. It cost a lot of money at that time and um, I experimented with it and I finally learned so much about it that I could create my first computer animations for German children television on public television. I was myself quite interested in whether Maya 2018 or 19 or whatever can open the old files and it sure can. I called the character at that time Schröder and here you have the project folder and in the project folder you have of course the scenes and lots of scenes here and I loaded one of them into the view and it's here. Uh, it's actually not, not something to brag about uh, but uh, I want to show you that Maya at that time did not provide polygon modeling. It came from the car industry program alias and uh, it had excellent NURBS tools, basically the same ones as uh, today, but uh, no polygon modeling. So everything here in that character is made from NURBS objects. The head, for example, was obviously a sphere where I cut out the ears. Or for example, the nostrils. The nostrils are tubes which uh, go inside our object here. And uh, trimmed surfaces all over the place. The teeth are NURPS spheres with a Fong shader. No Arnold at that time, no mental ray at that time. And the color is uh, almost pure white, but uh, a little bit into the gray. And uh, we have eyes here, for example, the eye shader. I mapped it with, I forgot everything about this really. I was quite surprised to be able to open this file at all. Uh, so this is the shader for the eye and uh, I have a locator somewhere sitting here where I can rotate the eyes already. I don't know what these curves down here are for. We can actually render that creature in Arnold and it looks like this. This is not really sexy I know uh, but um, I just wanted to show you that uh, it did work at that time and it's still compatible with current versions. So uh, be happy that you have polygon tools, lots of polygon tools in Maya these days because this was really a mess to work with that character here in, in the NURPS world only. Bye bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.